This is H2O2 from H2O. And now we're going to cover uh, the internal workings of this circuit. Um, first off, let's cover uh, frequency. So on pin 7, no, correction, on pin 1 of U1, we get a basic square wave. I'm going to adjust the frequency. VR2. Right now it's about um, 1.4 kilohertz. Um, so now I'm going to go over to uh, the output. And what we're going to get is a sawtooth on that. And that's where the duty cycle starts to come into play. Um, pin 7. And of course the uh, frequency is still responsive here. Okay, and then the uh, next stage is a uh, pin eight, and pin eight is where the square wave uh, is reformed with the duty cycle um, adjustment, and it basically uh, takes a reference point along that uh, sawtooth and makes the duty cycle the width of that sawtooth. So the the duty cycle uh, pot VR1 is um, moving that reference point up or down now, and then back up. And the smaller, the higher it gets, the smaller that peak is. The sample on that peak, and then it finally we'll get to the very top and uh, turn off. So, right now we're looking at a reference point somewhere in here, right at the top. So then, the uh, current limiter injects uh, and varies the, uh, the duty cycle voltage through the comparator um, that um, R12 is attached to. And by increasing that uh, reference voltage, we increase the duty cycle. Um, and as we decrease that, that affects the reference voltage and lowers it as we increase the uh, the current limit. So they're inversely proportional. So now, uh, the output of um, uh, U1 um, pin 8 um, is the square wave, and this is uh, this is where the improvement comes on this uh, this board. Um, uh, normally, the uh, 
normally out of pin 8 they'd run it through a uh, uh, 100 ohm resistor and a 1k uh, resistor to ground uh, and go directly to the uh, MOSFET in this uh, design I take that signal and run it to U3 pin 2 so it's un unaltered at that point um, and it goes into the input of uh, U3 um, and as you can see here um, there's a slight angle and let me amplify that there's a slight slope here that rise time is about 11.7 microseconds um, and if I lower the voltage here uh, you can see it a little bit better um, so there's a slight angle here and a slight decrease here um, now I'm going to capture that Now on the output of this, which is pin 7 or 6, we have a much straighter um, on time, basically uh, straight up and down now. And what that does it, it, it drives the MOSFET to turn on and off very quickly. Um, as you increase the on voltage um, from the start point to the to the actual um, maximum on, um, if there's a rise time, the FET has to um, control the current, and that control. Um, actually generates heat and, and produce, causes the MOSFET to get hot. Um, this should reduce that amount of on time and reduce the heat in the uh, MOSFET. Hopefully uh, enough to uh, allow uh, the FET not to be uh, cooled with an uh, external fan, possibly just a heat sink. And this rise time is uh, about 320 nanoseconds versus the 11.6 or 7 microseconds. Much faster. The uh, voltage is also at uh, 10 volts versus about 8. Point seven volts. Pulse width is about uh, six hundred and seventy microseconds wide. And roughly the same uh, on the output of U three.